Hi, this is Tony Balron. I'm a solution architect at Epic, and uh, I wanted to share with you a problem I recently had to, to solve, which is bringing a metahuman's body from Unreal into Maya, modify it, and bring it back into Unreal. Um, in this case, to get rid of some polygons that were poking through some clothing. And along the way, I had some problems, and I came up with some solutions, and I I figured this might be something that other people are going to deal with and so I'm going to show you how to do it. Currently when you create your MetaHuman you have two choices for clothing tops. The long sleeve versions and no shirt. If you choose a long sleeve shirt then the skin of the body that gets exported only shows the hands and a little bit of the neck. If you choose the no shirt, the version that gets exported is the entire chest. Well, if you have an outfit that has length of sleeves different than full sleeves or topless, you have no choice but to export the whole body. Uh, and if things don't line up perfectly on the skinning, uh, then you will get interpenetration. Now, you also might want to be doing this because you want to modify the body in some way. So it's not just useful for deleting polygons, although I think that will happen a lot. Um, you might want to modify the body in some way. So what you need to do is select your metahuman, find the blueprint, and you will see the body component and here you can find the skeletal mesh for that if you click on the browse it will locate it for you in the content browser and you want to right click asset actions export I'm going to put this in a directory from UE uh, I'm using the male tall normal weight body it already exists. Uh, the FBX export version I don't think matters too much. Um, you do if you want to do all the levels of detail, which I highly recommend. Uh, you check that box, and uh, the body doesn't have morph targets, but it doesn't hurt to put that on there. And uh, export, and you will bring that into Maya, and here we'll see body. Um, because you exported all the LODs, you'll see uh, the group here. One thing you can do, what I like to do is, uh, you can change the LOD start percentage. I do something like 200, 150, 100. And what that does is, basically, when I move back and forth in Maya, it allows me to see the different LODs. And here you can see, this is LOD 0, Let's go back a little more, LOD 1, LOD 2, LOD3. And it's important that you modify all of these LODs because uh, the bones get LOD'd out as well. And if you LOD, you modify only one version and you apply that version to a skeleton that has less bones, you will get an email like this from your boss saying, hey, the fingers don't look right and this is because the skeleton was LOD'd and the t and removed some bones but the I only did the zero LOD body at higher res and so there was no geometry there was too much geometry looking for bones that weren't there so you don't want to get this uh, picture sent to you from your boss so uh, you want to make sure you do all the LODs when you do this so how do you do that the first thing you want to do whenever you bring in an FBX from Unreal into Maya is look at the structure here. You will notice there's a group on top with the bones and the geometry underneath. This extra node is created because this is how an FBX stores information about a different coordinate system, whether it's Z up, Y up, left hand, right handed. And in this case, I'm using Maya and the Z up. But if you were to just export this back out from here 
into Unreal, Unreal will not understand this bone and you'll get a root error problem, right? So the first thing you always want to do is just unparent these and get rid of this, okay? Um, and then the next thing that you will notice here, and I'm going to purposely leave this broken to show you another problem. Uh, on the hand here, and it'll happen anywhere there's a seam, but if you look closely right here, you will see a seam. This seam corresponds to the UV seam of the hand. Here we go. So you see this point right here. It actually corresponds uh, to a point along the edge. And what happens is, apparently, in Unreal, when you import this model, the GPU skinning will separate um, patches of vertices internally. So when you export these things back to Unreal, um, they will not be lined up. So, for example, if I select this vertice and I move it, you'll see here it is not connected, right? And this will be a problem when you bring it back. So I'm going to do it wrong, and then and you'll see what happens. You'll see the seam, and then I'll show you how to fix that. But this is something that um, you should definitely be aware of. So, okay. Uh, let's, let's go here. So what I want to do is first turn off this joints because when I select the faces if the if the uh, geometry is there, the, the joints are there, it will select those. Okay, so I want to select the faces, delete them. I also don't want these faces either. Okay, and then I want to go to the second LED, see how it switches? I want to do the same thing. So select the faces, select all the body because I never want the body to show, and select the shoulders because those are problem areas. I don't have to be too particular because the sleeves aren't that exact. Um, so, you know, I'm just doing this roughly. Uh, here we go. Select the faces. Uh, select, delete that, and delete. Uh, that's fine. Okay. There is another LOD, but these are mitten hands, and I never, ever, ever wanted to see this anyways, so it doesn't matter here to me about this version. I just care about the first three LODs. And, you know, if you see some random pieces, you can delete those. Okay, so now we have this done. We can export this back to Unreal, and I will show you the problem. So the way I export the FBXs is I select the root, and I control select the LOD group, and I export selection. Uh, let's see here. I put these in a directory from let's name this from Maya and I'll name it the same thing mtal normal body So it thinks a whole bunch. Okay, so first problem. It doesn't like the um, operation on the vertices because I deleted them, right? So it, it's going to complain because there's these delete components. And when you bring it in, it's not going to see them. So what you actually have to do is edit delete by type non-deformer history. And what that will do is it will delete the memory of the deletion components, but it will preserve the skinning. So you have to do it for each one. So you zoom out here, see the delete components, 
edit, delete by type, non deformer history. The ones with less polygons goes much faster. Zoom out, edit, delete by type, non deformer history. Okay, and then we have this guy, I don't care about him. He doesn't have any deletions. Okay, so we select the root, select the LD group, file, export selection from Maya, replace. Then we look and see what errors it gives us. Look at that, no errors. Good. Okay, let's go back into Unreal. This is our um, our body here you see it's got the full geometry so what we want to do is here we can re-import the base mesh um, and that's just going to look for the original mesh because we created a new file we actually want to do re-import mesh with new file and this will allow us to choose so instead of coming from UE we want to go uh, export from Maya so now we're going to bring that in and it's going to look and say, hey, um, I found a different material, but I think I know what it is. So, uh, done. If it doesn't like it, we can reset it. So here we go. Yeah, I just want to check it out per force. Uh, no. So here you can see here, for LOD 0, is, it doesn't have the, uh, the body anymore. LOD 1. Okay, the body's still there. So why is this still here? Well, when we re-imported the base mesh, it only gave us LOD 0. LOD 1 and 2 need to be re-imported. So we go to LOD 1. Here, you can choose to re-import new file, and we choose the one that came from Maya. And this will just bring in LOD 1. So now, Choose LD2. Say uh, re import new file from Maya. Just for LD2. And it will update. So this is nice if you just wanted to update a specific LOD. You can go in there and have total control. Now, remember LD3 is the claw. We don't care about that. But something to look at. And this is happening in all of them. Remember? I talked about this seam. This seam, and this seam is gonna, you'll see it anywhere there's a UV seam, right? Anywhere that doesn't connect. So this will look horrible. If I were to save this, and I were to go back to my scene, let's compile our characters. And I were to look closely. Now, sure, it's not as distorted and disfigured as the LOD missing, but this is not pretty. See that right there? So, how do we fix this? Right? Remember, this was sliced apart when you imported it originally into Unreal, and that um, those vertices are not lined up. So, we have to go back to Maya. Let's go here. And it's a relatively simple way to fix this. So you can see here, this is the seam. Uh, first thing you have to do is do a merge. And that will give a distance threshold. And we want a really small number because they're just on top of each other, right? And that will merge them all down so that if we were to select them, they don't actually, it's not actually two vertices. So now if I choose the vertex and I go to move it, it's one, right? So, but we still have the seam. So then what we do is select it and go to soften edge. So create the soften edge, you go here. Now look at how beautiful that is. Okay, so nice and smooth. We uh, once again edit. Now you would edit non deformer history um, when you deleted it. Normally we wouldn't do this in two steps, but I'm just, I wanted to show you what happened if you didn't do it right. And of course we have to do this to all the LODs. 
that we want to use. So edit mesh, merge, uh, mesh display, soften edge, edit, delete by type, non-deformer history. We want the non-deformer history because if we delete the deformer history, we will lose all the skin clusters and then it won't animate anymore. Let's see, and then LD2, yep, same thing. We merge, then we soften edge and not the far history. Okay. Then we can re export this again. Select the root, export selection from Maya. Hope we get no errors means we remembered everything. Uh, go back into our headless guy here, okay. Um, we go back to our hand and then we can just, if you want, just go LD0. Uh, here we want to re-import the base mesh. Now this time we don't need to choose a new file because it's already set to that. But did you notice? Wow, looks much prettier. Uh, now, if we want to go and do the other LEDs, we have to do, again, it's set up, so now we can just hit re-import, and it should go and know the exact one, and then LED2, re-import, just updating, and LED3, Ugh, don't even care about that, I don't even like seeing that thing. Okay, so, uh, save it, and then compile our guy. Now we go back in here, and the hands are beautiful, and if you notice, there's no more polygons poking through on the back. So, and of course he has no head. That happens sometimes when you make changes in the MetaHuman and then you have to recompile the blueprint. But also him, see, no interpenetration in the skin. So that's uh, some of the pitfalls and uh, some advice, and hopefully, uh, it will help you to uh, avoid days of drama like I had. Thanks.